preparations for the World Cup. Um, Serbia is a very important friendly match that um, we also need to uh, play and make sure that we perform to the best of our abilities and also check where we need to improve. It's very important that we get such games, you know, before the World Cup um, to prepare us also mentally, physically. Uh, you can't go into a tournament without a friendly. And I think um, this is an important one just to see where we are at, where we can improve and where we can strengthen. And in the last one, there's a few matches. Um, but I think there's that little bit of concern that between now and the World Cup, um, there's not enough friendly matches lined up. Um, is that a bit of a worry or you will supplement that by maybe camps and being together and working amongst ourselves as a group? Uh, for players, it's not it's not a bit of a worry. Um, you know, if you check, yes, this is a higher competition, which is the World Cup. Uh, the gap is too big, yes, that we won't have much friendlies. But individually, we have programs, you know. And I think that um, we showed it at the uh, African Cup of Nations that we went there. We won the, uh, the tournament without even playing a single friendly. You know, and uh, mentally, we just have to be strong and work hard and work on our programs. So it's not a bit of a worry. The only thing that we need to focus on is ourselves. That's what I believe. And I believe that each and every player here believes the same way. And um, we trust uh, what the technical team has put in place for us. Well, and uh, just uh, having played in the uh, in World Cup before, um, what, what lessons did you learn from the previous one that you possibly looking to take into this one? Firstly, um, the first World Cup was incredible for us. Um, it was the first time experience. We went there for experience. Uh, we've learned that the game uh, has much improved, you know, and it has a higher speed and the World Cup is the highest level. So I think uh, mentally we are switched on and we understand what uh, the World Cup uh, demands. So that's the, lesson, the, the lessons that we've learned uh, from the previous World Cup. The speed of play is quite different. It's not uh you know any other it's just on a different level and the highest level and just in terms of targets what targets have you guys set for yourselves at this world cup is it to get out of the group how far are you guys looking to make it just what's the talk in the camp uh you don't kiss and tell <laughs> you, know? you don't kiss and tell you make sure that you focus on on the task at hand which is the group stages make sure that you perform to the best of our abilities to uh, make your nation proud um, you know, advance to the next stage, just so forth. But you need to focus on the first game, the second game, the third game, which is the group stages first. Uh, maybe as a follow-up, obviously without being somehow, but realistically, I'm looking at where African women football is and where you know the rest of the top teams are, and most of them will be at the World Cup. Um, what are the, the chances? What are the realistic chances of us going there and creating pressure? There are high chances of us uh, performing to the best of our abilities and making the nation proud. Uh, firstly, it will be 11 v 11 on the field of play. Um, yes, the difference will, might be that players that we are going to play against play professionally on a daily, uh, but I believe that we are capable of, of winning anything as long as we put our minds to it and as long as we work hard for each other and play as a team. And the, the experience of some of you guys at Sundowns uh, in the Champions League, uh, I can imagine you will come in handy at the World Cup. Um, so the experience we, we got from the Champions League um, firstly is incredible because we play against uh, players that are coming from or teams that are playing, uh, believe in different cultures. And some of them play one root football and some, and we believe in tiki taka football. So we had to adjust the times, you know, to win a match. So I think it's going to help as well, you know, gaining that experience because you're playing a game at a Hollywood bet, then you go play Champions League. And also um, the, the, the other experience that is going to help is the players that are playing also overseas, you know. Um, that experience is incredible and because they know and they understand the level of high intense football as well. And we have to give credit also to the Hollywood Bets um, for, for the progression and for uh, the improvement that I'm seeing. I also feel it, you know, I feel that we are improving slowly but surely in South Africa as well. And going there this time as the African champion, does it uh, come with any added pressure? Is there any added pressure? Honestly, uh, the first time when we went to the World Cup in 2019, it was more experience and excitement. But this time we know the level in which we are going to compete at. And 
this time we are not only representing South Africa, but the whole continent. And yes, there's a bit of pressure of us, you know, representing the continent with uh, pride. And obviously uh, we are, like I said, we are not only representing South Africa, uh, but pressure aside, uh, when it's uh, 11 v 11 on that field of play, you don't think of um, uh, the continent and whatsoever. You only think of uh, the points that you need to get so that you can advance uh, to the next stage. So for us, it's more of understanding the fact that, uh, yes, we are African champions, but we are going there to compete against teams that will be even to us. Happiness?